Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel, I hope you're all well. This is going to be a very special video, as you know, in the next three days we're about to celebrate the 80th anniversary of the first edition released by Marvel Comics. And I thought what I'd like to do is look at Kabam's authenticity and whether or not they're any good at taking what's in the comic books and the source material and making champions look the part. So here are my top 8 champions Kabam have got right. Do put in the comment section other champions that I have missed out for this list. I just thought these eight are particularly good. Also just to point out Kabam don't have to make every single champion exactly correct against comic book source material and I probably will be a little bit harsh in places. Number one let's begin with Kamala Khan even though the color palette is just a slight difference with more of an emphasis on this kind of popping gold. On the back of the scarves is the little emblems there that look like little kind of flames. I think they're, they're meant to be associated with Captain Marvel. In some cases I've seen this being put in this style, in other cases not so much. The gold trim on the boots is probably the only thing that kind of puts this off from being completely authentic against what's been in the comic books. But again, like I reiterated, and what I will reiterate throughout this video is, Kabam don't have to go down this route. It's just nice to see when they've got it exactly 100% correct. At number 7 is Bishop. Maybe I should have put him as number 8. The more that I look at the character design here, the more I am reminded of what one is my favourite film, and that is Days of Future Past, where we have Bishop for the first time. It kind of sucks because he does get killed off, spoiler alert, but it has very much the, the head design. It's around and looks like the actor but the rest of him actually looks pretty on point to some of the comic book source material. In some cases, it's the left hand side or the kind of the right leg, if you're looking at it now, the right leg of Bishop. That kind of design for what is like a, a holster or a pouch is not really commonly on that design. But apart from that, there are some cases where that is actually in place. The rest of the design looks quite good. Maybe the, uh, the Afghan, the red Afghan uh, scarf is a little bit different to what I've seen in comic book source material, but pretty much remains on point and is one of my favorite characters. Gwenpool is gonna be one of many where it's literally difficult to pick up anything that is a design flaw based on matching up to authenticity. The G on the belt is probably the only thing that I can really point out here that I find that it is a bit too garish, where in the comic books it's a little bit more subtle. But again, this is, this is a sizing when Kabam come to size these characters in the game as opposed to what they see from source material. It, it is difficult to kind of uh, to go, okay, so we've got to make the G less G E. -er. The only other thing I can really pick up on is the extent of pouches on the utility belt. I think there's probably about a couple too many especially looking at some of the source material. Moving on to number five and Jane Foster Thor. Now, this character is so well put together. There's actually only one discrepancy I've seen so far. Now, everything's on point. Right the way through cloak to boots, and I did think the boots would be a bit of a bone of contention with the, the kind of wings each side. And I just can't find any problems except for the belt area. On the belt area, there are three kind of uh, armor nodules. There's two small ones and one larger one in the center. In a lot of the comic book imagery that I've seen, I've seen that the larger part in the center is more of an equal to the other two. So it's three that are kind of equal sizing. But apart from that, that is the only problem I can actually find with this. And it may be a problem with a slight coloring on the helmet when it comes to what looks like a Viking symbol in the middle of the helmet that is more golden, but I've seen in other ones that it's not so golden. So I guess this actually should really be given a passing credit as being one discrepancy. Now we move on to our top four and it is very difficult to separate these out. Cyclops, the 90s version, the blue team version, is so well done and is so on point, it is incredible. You could give a slight knockdown for the fact that maybe the, uh, the sash with the X should be slightly lower, but again, that's just, that is just really nitpicking there as it is just such a good build. Even the level of detail of having these kind of um, double bits on some of the wristing as well as over the thigh and as well with the boots. Which I didn't think, uh, when I looked away from it and then looked very close I was like okay well it, is, it has got those kind of um, double bands. Which is a level of detail which I've seen in a lot of the comic book art. So. Yeah, I really can't fault this. It would probably be very minor nitpicking because placement is, is just perfect. It would probably just be the sash thing and it being 
a little bit lower but again I've seen other comic books where it's actually in the same position so yeah very difficult to fault this and I think this is one of the best ones well apart from the other three that we're going to see moving on to Scarlet Witch now this is one that I did jostle around with the idea of maybe this has got to be in the number four spot but there's again same same problem I have with with Cyclops there's smaller levels of detail to kind of micro complain about but it's not so much a kind of complete reservation of uh, oh they've got that wrong and I think it's just going down to the boots it's a fantastic build on this based on the fact that you've got the level of detail coming up from the waist and on that kind of unitard thing that goes up and to areas which I can't say on YouTube because I don't want to get into trouble the fact is it is just a well put together suit down on the boots there's meant to be in some places an M no a W being seen but instead there's more of a, a kind of a V I'll, sh I'll flash up some comic book images to kind of give you an idea but in some cases it looks like it's kind of doing this kind of W or you see more of a two points rather than here where there is like a, a kind of a, a dip down and then it just kind of goes round so it looks like more of a V than looking like something like a, an M but we'll, um, I'll, I'll try and explain that with some of the images. Other than that it is a very well put together build. The headgear again is on point you can't really fault that and it just again is brilliant absolutely fantastic right the way down to the cloak in at number two and this was very difficult to separate out because it is very much on point if you're looking at black bar here it seems absolutely fine again all the details look to be absolutely perfect against what we see with the source material the gloves in some cases i've seen ones that are a bit different so maybe that's not absolutely perfect you could even argue about the wingspan side of things or the uh, the kind of the gliding which as you can see is under the armpit and some some cases it's a little bit larger I don't know for more glide so that's maybe one thing of a two things of an issue but maybe one I can actually gonna go with a fault similar to other ones that have been in the second in the third and fourth positions but altogether a fantastic build and just a great character that they've put in the game. And the final one has got to be Spider-Gwen. This is actually one of the best ones that Kabam have put in. It again is difficult to fault. You could give a minor point to the fact of, of the back due to the sizing in the build. In some cases I've seen that this is actually pretty on point. If you stretch the back out more then you probably would get exactly the same design. If you then look to the front We've got everything on point. The kind of uh, daps or kind of, uh, well, I don't know what we would call that. The feet are, again, very reminiscent of this kind of turquoise color, which, again, is pretty much on point. Looks-wise, with the, the hood area, again, on point. Even under the kind of arm armpits going down to the forearm, having that kind of webbing design is very much, again, on point with what we've seen with comic books. And I just think it's one of the best builds that Kabam have put in liking it to the actual source material itself and there we have it ladies and gentlemen that has been the video i hope you enjoyed this is a bit of an, a different take hopefully you got to understand where kabam get a lot of their ideas from and also some of the source material from the point of the build what was missing and at the same time which ones are some of the best ones kabam have put in and like i reiterate like i'll reiterate the fact is kabam don't have to make this completely on point with water in comic books they can go their own way it's also very fun to see when they get it right based on build and you know props to kabam with a lot of builds that they have done in game hopefully a celebration for the 80th anniversary are going are going well or planning well i'll see you all at new york comic-con and as always i shall catch you in the next video bye bye for now